Y'all are just tainting the minds of poor young women listening to all this garbage. That's a fact. Yo, if you wear a hat, that doesn't mean anything. That just means you like hats. If you approach women and you're more confident, that means you've just spoken to more women and you feel more confident in your energy. You feel like you're in a good space in life. You can maybe have some fun. If you don't pursue, as women say, I'm busy. I was doing a lot. I worked three jobs. I'm tired. I was taking a nap. Right? So all these different things, it's like, yo. (laughs) When I put these ads on the screen, it's just to show you guys and gals out there that we know nothing that is going on right now. No one has it figured out. So as you continue to give advice, quote unquote, for my people listening on Spotify, drop a rating. It's like, yo, it's not going to work. You have to trust your gut instinct in real time. That's a fact. Because when I go out on dates, when I used to go out on dates past tense, I was paying attention to what the person was saying. Like, I don't care. That's a fa- That's a lie. I appreciate if you look good. If you have a nice body, you got some cheeks on, you got, you know, I'm not going to dive too deep. You have a nice, amazing body. You like to take care of yourself. You're healthy, as I like to say. That's just a positive on the side. That's like the sides. A biscuit, some fries. Let's say we're at Popeye's. I'm looking for the chicken sandwich, which is your mental. But on the side, you got your fries and your biscuits. That's your body. If your body is nice, your toes look amazing, your lips are soft, you got some long hair, cool. That's a side. But I'm looking for that chicken. I came here for the chicken sandwich. I want to know what your mental is like. So if you start to say very odd things, your boyfriend cheated on you with three different women, you let a guy get you pregnant and you aborted it, all this crazy stuff, all these things I hear on, I'm like, yo, I didn't want to hear that. I didn't, you didn't have to tell me that that fast. Let the, let it build. Like, what are you into? Are you into fashion? Like, let's build up to these things. Just know, let's, let's jump into it. What's your religion? What's your, what's your religion? Like, y'all, the social skills that we are trying to maneuver through now are terrible. That's why I don't go outside, because I like to think of myself as someone who knows how to communicate. I can have a conversation. I can relay my thoughts to you and make it make sense. That's a fact. Hence why I'm talking to you into this podcast, trying to break down some of these nuances in dating. It's like, yo. Okay, we get it. We understand now. We we can kind of assess the situation. But at the same time, like, how do you navigate? Because the same things she said in that video are the same things I'm seeing. I'm like, uh, this this don't make no sense. But then when I say something, I'll I'll chime into the comments. I'll say something. And I just got like three or four women just you don't know what this means and you don't know what that means and you're toxic and you're single and you're that. Di- I'm like, bruh, stop projecting your life onto me. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just telling you that's not, that's not what it is. Like that's n- really, n- I'm a guy. That's, n- that's not what it is. But it's like women giving information to women, but women don't date women. Women date men and they're not, necessarily listening to what these guys are saying so hey continue not to continue to be celibate and continue to get manipulated as they say i don't know like i'm just here to laugh this podcast is based in satire you might as well put it under comedy at this point because (laughs) i sit around and laugh and i'm like yo i'm not trying to give you any advice i'm just as confused as you because once you get a woman that digest all that information. She's listened to all that and she thinks everything that these people on online are saying is Bible. What do you do then to talk her off the deep end? She's on a 80 foot cliff about to dive headfirst into all this TikTok information. What do you do? Like, do you just say, be like, no, you shouldn't really take that stuff too seriously. It's the internet. You'd be like, I agree. I kind of, can't understand where you come from or you do you just leave it alone altogether and she's bad she's an eight and her second cousin is michael jackson or something like you know what i mean like 
These people are connected. Like, you know, she looks good and she has a good family dynamic. She got some cool people running around in her family. Do you just leave it alone or do you just try to talk her off the ledge, talk her off the cliff? I don't know, right?